see my woman. That is my woman under there. Look at you. You're just a bruiser. You're just a bruiser. Your girlfriend's under here. Look how... This is a T-negative type 2. And look how just dirty. Dirty and war-torn. Look at this. He has a girlfriend that maybe fought back from his little amorous moments. And you just look at this. Just this big yellow gem. You're so you're so you're so filthy. But I guess for their, their happiness and whatever, you gotta let them get dirty. Look at that little fish. Yes. Oh yeah. Cute as the day is long. Even though you got a couple cuts on your face and, and what's that? Who who's who's there? Who's who's gonna come out? There's another head. Come here. Come here. Yeah, I talk to them like they're friggin' birds. Because they really they're so smart. Hello. She's like, I won't, I am tired of him. All he wants to do is kiss me. Actually, they don't really, well, kiss a little bit. He's, he's always jittering and stuff like that. But these are both big, beautiful teen eggs. And I just need to get some eggs from you. What do you think? Look at the all-knowing eye. Yes, if you had your way, you'd climb all over me. I mean, literally. Yeah, this is probably the most rewarding species of reptile I've, I've actually kept because I, 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 they literally, they really love to, once you've um, broken through to them and you, you basically engage the animal without any stress, these animals love to interact with you. They are just so curious and so sweet. There's, there's nothing that, that I can say in a negative uh, aspect of these animals. But it all has to be within you know, the guidelines. You have to have a relationship with the animal. These animals know individual people. Look at that. Just, this is all just tannins from the leaves and, and whatever. But this is a beautiful outline. It's like, why are you doing this to me? Because you look dirty and sin. So I guess I'm just doing some monitor videos. Hello. And you, you're hiding from him. I get it. You can see our little cut right there. So they'll they'll do these different things because uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of testing each other, and there's a lot of um, things involved when you actually breed these. Breeding water monitors is not always a, a pretty sweet, gentle business. I literally have females that will murder males certain males or any males or anything and to the point where sometimes you can't even use them as breeders anymore i have right now a monstrous female that you know she's 18 years old and she has gone into the whole thing like every male that comes into my cage must be murdered and she will immediately engage in that and it's really scary especially when you have such a you know uh, relationship with each one of these animals and love for them Look how smart they are. If I had a piece of chicken right now, you would see a very different behavior. And you're all dirty. Yep. Rana Salvatore, genius. 
Guess how often I get bit? Like never. Things don't like to bite me. Because I cry. <laughs> and they can't bear watching a grown man act like a baby. Isn't that true? Yeah. You want to come out and just climb all over me. Look at this. These guys really have that amazing personality. Alright, I guess... I'll leave these guys be. You always see me doing this, right? It's like, why is he doing that? Well, this is basically the ultimate test when I'm doing this. This is the ultimate test in my trust for them and their trust for me. Basically, this they're used to me doing this. Um, I'm very touchy with, with uh, these animals. I feel a lot of these animals really do like human interaction. I mean, if they're not afraid of you, they enjoy being pet, enjoy being uh, interacted with, being moved around, being uh, peeled, being fed, just, just everything because they're highly intelligent. So their brains need to be stimulated. And uh, I think I'm the same way. And my brain needs to be stimulated by the, you know, just looking at these animals and trying to figure them out. And uh, I'm really, you know, I've gained so much knowledge of these guys and reading them. And this, this translates incredibly well over to so many other uh, lizard species and just, you know, obviously snakes. I'm largely a snake guy, but I also have this, I guess, this thing going on with lizards now. And uh, they're just remarkable genius animals. I know. Yeah. You're cute. Well, I hope people... <laughs> get something out of my yammerings about these these guys. So these are Asian albino T negative type two water monitor lizards at Nerd. We'll say goodbye.